Hi everyone, Pedro here from Pythonista again. So this is a quick video to um, explain to you how Python list comprehensions work. So when would you want to use a list comprehension? List comprehension is a very Pythonic way to write code. Um, usually when you want to, um, you have a list and you wanted to transform that list either filter or you wanted to change the items on the list so one way to do it you do a loop in python so like you create a, a second list and then you iterate through that list and then you uh, if that item uh, meet a condition you can either remove uh, pop you can append uh, to that list usually like a, you start with a blank list first. Oh, oh let's let's um, I think if you if I go with an example It's much better than just to throw your theory here. Okay Just calling that So uh, I'm just gonna uh, start a ipython um, Terminal here like a REPL and that's gonna be better so uh, let's say I have a list, okay? Uh, let's call it ages. So I have the list here already. So I have a list with ages, like it's like um, integers. Um, and before that, uh, I, I think you are familiar with a loop in Python. Let's say I want to add one to every single age. Like I wanted to iterate to this list and say, uh age 24 plus 1 is 25 and so forth so how can we do that so i would create another list called um let's say ages add and then i would that list will be an empty list so and then i would loop to the list in python i loop like i'm just gonna um, assume that you already uh, are familiar with loops in python so if i go for I in ages so I'm just iterating to every item on that list and then I I, I append um, to the ages add list like the item plus one so, so if I do that and then if I go ages add and just that's the list plus one so to do a list comprehension what would you do is you do exact the same as the loop but you would do that in brackets so first you do there are different ways to do it but so what it does is you don't need to create a new list and append so the syntax is much uh uh, easier so I still do the for i in ages and then I put the result here first and then I can do whatever I want if I do this it's gonna be pretty much the same list but if I uh, like put i plus one and then I got the same thing but uh, Sometimes you want to put a condition like either a if condition or a if else condition. Let's do first if condition. So let's say that I wanted to filter this list and create a second list which filters all age that are above 25. So I just go the same. But I just wanted to just return the same uh, age. But uh only if i are greater than 25 and there you go 45 and 60. but one thing that i always had to go to stack overflow because i forget syntax is when there is a if else which is a little bit different so uh, logically it would say something like this or if it's greater than that and then i and then you put like else, uh, let's say zero. And then there is a problem with the syntax. That's how it doesn't work this way. 
To do a if else, the syntax is a little bit different. So I'm just gonna keep the same thing. You still do the for r in ages, but instead doing everything on the right, you do everything on the left, which is like this. So, and then you do i if i is greater uh, than 25 else and then you do what needs to happen if it doesn't meet the condition let's say i want it to be zero and then that's the way it's done, it's done. there you go so it iterates to the item so 25 is not greater than 25 and then it's a zero it's a zero 45 uh, i'm looking this one 45 23 sorry zero zero 45 60 and zero so that's pretty much it that's the basic uh, uh what you need to know about uh this comprehension i haven't done this in this video i'll probably do in another one because i wanted to keep this one very quick uh in terms of implementation, a list comprehension is faster than a loop. So your code will be cleaner. It's gonna be one liner. It's gonna be more Pythonic and it's gonna be faster, especially if you are iterating uh, through a big list. Okay, thanks for watching. And before I go, I haven't done that in the beginning of the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Click the uh, the bell to receive notifications and also like the video for uh, more people to watch it and that can reach more people. All right, thank you for watching and see you next time.